What is going on guys? You're back with another video today and we are in our LA Chargers online user franchise. Of course, we are an 11 and 1 team right now. Trevor Williams has an upgrade. Looking at what we should do. The speed's nice. Easily our number one corner now, unfortunately. Uh, Casey Hayward's kind of falling back a little bit, especially with that dev. Uh, but Trevor's still going to play number two because Casey, we need a scapegoat. Simply put, uh, that's the way it is. Players of the week. We, of course, did not receive one now. Of course, the Bengals' record here isn't super great, but that is not relevant as they have a good user and any given Sunday. Basically, all you need to know, you can see here, there's really no one to throw to, so we are basically going to let this thing hit the ground, sadly. Third and ten now. Not a whole lot of pressure. Great left tackle play, but Eckler's got to step up there and make a play. He does not. No one open. Again, big surprise there. Inside move. Uh, down to the 50, Nick Chubb. Can't remember if Mixon was traded for this season or the next season, but the Bengals lose a 99 overall Mixon through a trade, and I don't know if he's still here. I don't know. Uh, but the fact that Chubb's starting tells me either he isn't or he's getting ready to. Jatavis downfield in good coverage. Is that caught? No, it is intercepted. An amazing pick by Jatavis, who is having a really good season, as per usual. What do you expect here in pressure? Look at the throw. Kind of Mahomes-esque, little sidearm. Wow! That's, that's all I can really... That's, I've never made that sound in my life. Here you see Hunter Henry gets a catch right in front of a receiver. Look at Hunter Henry making some people not really miss, but another good maybe 30-yard gain. Third and five. Can we convert? We can not because Cleveland has not hold on to the ball, which is unfortunate, but we do get the first points of the game. So we are up. 3-0, and uh-oh, he has room. Slips off the play. Please, somebody get there. Please, somebody get there. Pl pl oh, okay, and that's going to be a kick return touchdown. Very uh, rare that you see someone return a kick after they break a tackle. Uh, usually when you break, and you know, when you actually have to physically break a tackle, it takes too long, and there's that. Interesting decision to throw to Williams there. I think I might have had Tyler Lockett over the middle. Either way, a first down is a first down. And speaking of people open, Cleveland could be wide here. They look like they're shading the outside. They are. Cleveland gets the catch. He is starting to become quite the receiver. Melvin Gordon finds room. Nice little inside move. Uh, but, of course, Forrest Lant does not want us to succeed, so he doesn't let us succeed. And here, I don't know what I'm doing there. Just the pressure got to me, and I threw the worst pick I've had all season. I would... Can I, I think I can say that. I think it might be the worst pick I've had all season. Not like just the worst play ever, but just such a stupid decision. He's just not open. He's simply not open. Stafford kind of off to a slow start himself, uh, throwing a pick and throwing pick number two. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. And how the hell do I not take that back at least another 20 yards? I'll never know. Second and four, Melvin Gordon kind of gets caught. But it's enough for a first down. So first and ten now. Start of the second quarter. Plenty of time left in this game. Just got to make the right decision. And wide open is Tyree Cleveland. Who's going to get about 20-yard gain there. So we're getting down the field again. First and ten. We just need to score. That's the biggest thing here. Taking a shot inside in the back upside end. Clearly not going to hold on there. We got an injury. Brandon Graham on the Bengals side. That could be a bit of a helper. Rolling out to the left. No one really open again. Taking a shot. Hit as I'm thrown. Terrible decision regardless. And pick number two for us. So, yeah, a pretty ugly game both sides so far. And there's still lots left. That could have been another pick. This is just atrocious for both teams so far. But obviously, he has the lead. So, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And on third and ten, they're going to call him slightly short. Great play call, but just barely not enough. Taking a shot inside early. Very quickly, 15-yard gain for Hunter Henry. We have no problems getting down the field about 40 yards, and then after that, it all hits the fan. And here, I'm going to get hit from behind for a sack on third and six. I knew I wasn't going to make it running, so I had to just throw it. Didn't get it off in time. First and 10 to the outside. He's wide open. It's going to slip off, but kind of loses a yard off of that. So we aren't really too mad with it. Second and four from the 11-yard line. A little uh, under halfway through the second can we make a big play we can is that at the one it's the safety i actually thought that was going to be at the one perriman gets enough apparently for a safety first and ten nice little move 
by Melvin to make something out of nothing. Second and one now from the 38-yard line. Handoff up the middle. Melvin finds some room to the left. Great user adjustment to uh, stop the spin. A lot of people are going to go with a spin or a cut there, and he knew it. And we, uh, you know, get beat there. First and 10. Across the middle. Probably had Hunter Henry even more open, but still a conversion is a conversion. Lock it with a huge gainer. Eckler to the outside. Eckler's got room, and Eckler is going to score our first touchdown of the game. Super awkward score of 12 to 7, but a lead is a lead, and yikes. I think we had a bait there. A little fortunate to, to get away with a catch on that one, but still, it you know moves the chains. And there, not so lucky. Casey Hayward comes up with one. Hopefully he doesn't fumble. I look like it was a strip attempt. Two-minute warning has hit our ball. Second and 10 for the 28-yard line. Looking for more separation inside a little early. I tried to pitch it to the running back. Risky move, but he would have been wide for at least 15-20. And to the outside, a quick throw to Melvin on third and inches. Very clutch play. I know it's not super hard, but it's an important play nonetheless. And here, terrible decision. But because his guy was beat, he had to turn around. And Cleveland actually makes the catch. Second and two, I really should run this. Instead, I'm going to wait for Lockett, and it was a good decision. Down to the 10, three timeouts left. From the 10, Melvin's going to get quite a fight down to the 2, down to the 1. Still not going to call a timeout because, once again, we don't really need the clock here. Really smart decision by us. Honestly, maybe should run the ball here. We do not. And Jacoby, not a smart decision there. Should have just ran it in. Instead, we're at the 1 again. Third and goal. Can he make the stop? He should not have because we caught the guy at the perfect time. And it, was, it wasn't overthrown. He just didn't see the ball and never went for it. Great coverage on the field for the final play of the first half. So we're up by eight starting of the second half. And who is this, Joey Bosa? It is Joey Bosa finally getting a little bit of pressure. That actually brings him down. Second and 21 from the 14. Jatavis is there to make the play, and he does get the ball out. Or was it Perriman, one of the two? I think it was a combination of the two. Third and 21, should be an easy stop. It wouldn't say easy, but we, we did what we need to do. Gave up 13 yards, but we also do get the ball back here. And here, we're going to take a shot to Henry. And oh my god, the catch of the season for Hunter Henry with an amazing one. An amazing one-hander. However, it's going to lead to a fourth and five, so... It's unfortunate. It was pretty much all for nothing, but what an effort. Beautiful catch in here, though. Sacked down to the three. Melvin Ingram could be his final season with us, giving us his all, and I appreciate him. He's always been that guy for us, and over the middle, what a find on third and 18. Honestly, that could be the difference between winning and losing this game for him. However, he's faced with another third down. Can he convert again? He's under pressure. And almost caught, but also almost picked. But we overran it slightly. First and 10 now after the uh, the punt. Cleveland about a first down. They're going to give him short, though. So now it's a third and one. And there goes Lockett. Wide open. Too bad the receiver downfield, probably Tyree Cleveland, did not make a block. He could have been potentially gone. Nice play action. No one really open. And I was waiting for B. He's going to get the fumble recovery. Jacoby Brissett, that's his... Oh, and he's injured. That's not good. That's his biggest kryptonite. He just fumbles too damn often. I kind of got beat there. However, Casey Hayward with the recovery has a chance down the field as well. Ooh, that little step out of bounds is a big savior for him, I think. First and 10, Melvin gets the handoff. He's going to cut it back left quickly. One of his favorite things to do, Melvin Gordon. Oh, my God. I might have called him Melvin Ingram as well. What a run. Damn left foot again, though. And here, great coverage by him. I was looking for the running back, looking inside. No one really open to my liking. Got to take care of this football, so we take an 11-yard sack. To the outside, Tyler Lockett. He's going to make it manageable, probably about a third and nine here. Third and 11, actually. 9-11, great. Uh, looking for somebody. Hunter Henry, that was close to a pick. Going to call that even from the one we had earlier. Second and seven after punting. This has been a real big defensive battle. Is the eight-point lead going to be enough? That's the question here. First down over the middle from the 43 now. Second and eight to the outside. Slips off of two tackles. 
down to the 49. Good seven-yard gain. Third and two. Five minutes left in the fourth. Great decision to run the ball. I thought we had him. We didn't. Great, great call there. I had a chance. I, you know, I thought maybe it was a run, but I really didn't commit too much other than ourselves. And obviously, we got picked up. And here, Stafford's under trouble. Oh, he fumbles the ball. Is that Melvin Ingram with another sack? Third and 15 now. Great coverage deep, but there's no pressure here. Great coverage, like I said, and that is just perfect. Perfect stuff. He punts it. We're down to the two-yard line. There goes Eckler outside. Has room. Uh-oh. Eckler's one to beat. He gets by him from the two. Eckler's running as fast as he can. He slips off a tackle and down to the nine. That could be the dagger. Of course, we still see that Jacoby is still out, but Bortles did enough there. And Eckler did the rest. Eckler inside. Going to play it as safe as we can because we know if we get a field goal, it basically wins the game, especially the way the defense is played. Eckler can't really do much with it after the huge gainer. But we hit the field goal. So barring some amazing miracle play, I don't think he's going to have enough time. Melvin gets another sack. Two in the fourth quarter. Very clutch, man. He's just the greatest. And here... Somehow his running back holds on. We were on that ball right as it was at his fingertips. Honestly, he should probably just try to get a field goal, and Melvin has been killing it. Now, of course, at that timeout, the game plan completely changes here. And here the pressure's coming. It's a little delayed, and there's another play. Bosa forces the fumble, and it's recovered by the defensive tackle, I think. I don't even know, honestly. Might have been Hankins. Great, great defensive battle. Both teams probably not super, uh, you know, <laughs> ecstatic about the stat line, but a win is a win, and what the hell is that camera angle? <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that is. No one really went off for us. Melvin Ingram, I suppose, would be the guy. Bosa did pretty well, too, but I'd, I'd say Bosa and Ingram were really the guys that won the game for us. I know we had some good coverage and whatnot, but Melvin and Bosa, they both got in there when they needed to. Super clutch performances from the two guys Jacoby got hurt and man maybe it was a good thing because it saved him from even worse numbers but at the end of the day a win is what we were chasing might be able to lock up a top two seed very soon sorry Cleveland nice little 100 plus yard game and yeah I mean I would say uh yeah we're we're close to the number one number two seed so got to keep up the pressure and hopefully you guys enjoy the video hopefully you guys come back for next video but until next video...